Okay, so welcome back. And this is another daily kill problem. So today it's called movie rating. It's a medium level uh, SQL problem here. So let's uh, take a look at it. So essentially you're given three different tables here. Uh, the movies table, the users table, and the movie rating table. Now these are just kind of dimension tables that you join with the movie ID um, to retrieve the title of the movie. And here you join with the user ID just to get the, the name of the particular user. Other than that, it's all in this movie rating table, which has those foreign keys to those IDs. But then we also have the rating and the created at, at date. And so this is basically just the set of movie ratings that each particular user is giving and the date that they gave that rating. Okay, so what we want to do is it's kind of interesting here you just want to output two rows and those two rows are a particular user and then a particular movie and so essentially the way you find the user name is that you just want to name the user that has the most number of movies that they rated okay and so the only other catch here is if there's a tie we just want the smaller username okay so that's basically it so this is just the whatever user gave the most ratings and we just give if there's a tie the smaller uh, or the smaller lex lexicographically username and for the movie name what we want to do is we just want to give the highest rating for this particular month so whichever movie was rated the highest on average for that uh, month February 2020 okay so to do this what we're going to use is a union uh, statement actually union all it used to work with union but they added extra text cases so you have to use union all actually I was really confused um, when I was looking at my previous solution and so basically um, for the user one it's kind of simple you just get, once you know to use a union you just kind of take it case by case so for the user one we just say okay let's just go ahead and what we're gonna want to return here is whichever user had the most rating. So we want to return that name here. So in the table, it's called name, but we're going to want to return it as results. So we're going to have to give an alias as results. <clears throat> and so this is going to be coming from our movie rating table in order to get how many ratings they were giving. But then we also want to join with this smaller table users uh, just using their user ID. Okay, so because the name is coming from the users table, we have to join with the movie table, and we use the movie table to get the number of ratings that they have. And so we're just gonna group by this user ID, and we're just gonna say, okay, how do we wanna get the user that gave the most ratings? Well, I'm sure there's several ways you could do this. Um, what I did and what looked like what most people were doing in the comments was just ordering by the, let's see here, ordering by the count. And we just want to do this in descending order. And so if we group by the user and then we order by the count, we're just going to get in descending order which user rated the most movies, which user rated the second most, and so forth. But the other catch here was, okay, well, we only want to... Um, also give one and if we do have a tie we just want to return the lexicographically uh, smaller name and so we're just going to also want to order this by the name so like this and so this would just be like an ascending order but we don't need to put that and just to handle um, only returning one result we just say limit one so that will be the first row the topmost row or ordered by the descending order there's a tie, we break it by the name in ascending order, and that's how we do it. Okay, so now we're gonna want to union this with a second query. And so to do that, what we're gonna do, and I'm just formatting this here, is we're gonna use union all so we don't deduplicate it. And the test case was, okay, if there's a uh, user with the name Rebecca and a title of a movie with the name Rebecca, you didn't want to dedupe that the two names. So someone could have the name of the actual movie. 
Okay, and so to do this, what we want to do is we're going to return the movie that was the highest rated on average for February 2020. And so this is just going to fit into our where clause. Other than that, we just need to find whichever one has the highest rating, which is very similar to this, except we're not like ordering by the count, we're ordering by the average rating. Okay, so we're going to want to select the title of the movie and we're going to give it the alias results. This is also coming from the movie table to get their like average rating. But we're going to join with the movies table now just because we want the title of the movie. And once again, we're just using that foreign key of the movie ID. Okay, and so we're going to group by the movie ID because we want the average rating of that movie. And so we're just going to order by the average of the rating column here. Okay. And so this is once again in descending order because we want to grab just the topmost row um, ordered by their average rating. So it goes highest rating to lowest rating. And then if there's a tie, we break it by, I believe the title name. Yeah, the title name. And we do that in ascending order, so it goes shortest title to uh, longest title, or I guess smallest to largest in lexicogra lexicographically order, and we just limit by one. Um, I believe that's it. Let's try running that. I might have forgot something. Uh, movie table. Uh, sometimes when I say table, I spell it out. Movie table. Oh, is it movies table? Movie rating table. Yeah, so let's just say movie rating. Great, sorry about that. Uh, movie and group by, so group by movie ID. So right now we're seeing Joker and we should be saying Frozen 2. So what are we doing here? Ah, so we didn't add in our where clause, that actual constraint of, okay, we only want to consider the ones in this date or in this month and year. And so we just say, okay, using this, let's add a where clause just before a group by that's saying, okay, wherever the year for this particular, and let's see, I think it's created at, yeah, the created at date is equal to 2020 and the month of the year for this particular date is February, so uh, two. Awesome, looks good, let's try submitting. Awesome, so success, so yeah, I hope that helped. Um, follow for more, like um, I'm gonna be doing this every day, I do Python and SQL, but yeah. I hope it helped and good luck with the rest of your preparation. So see ya, thanks.